Who doesn't love a caramel apple? Well, this time we're gonna make it even simpler in a taste of home by making it into a nice casserole, a bake. It's wonderful and it'll fool your friends and your kids and there's no stick needed. What we start out with is some Granny Smith apples. That's what I use. It's some kind of tart baking apple is really the best thing to use. We've got a couple tablespoons of baking mix, you know, like Bisquick. A little bit of cinnamon. We're going to just kind of mix this all together, just like this, right here in the bowl. Okay, perfect. Oh, you can smell that cinnamon just wafting off those apples. Now, here's the caramels. You want to take your caramels, about 22 to 25, depending on how caramel you want it, and you want to take them and quarter them, and that's what I did here. You can see they're a smaller size. Okay, so we're going to take these and we're going to mix them right into the apples. So you get that creamy caramelness in with the tart apples and the cinnamon. All right, so we've got our apples mixed up with the caramel and the cinnamon, a little bit of the um, baking mix. Perfect. Now we just want to go ahead and make sure these are kind of laid out as flat as you can. Everything's kind of even. Okay. Perfect. I did not grease this pan, okay? 375 degrees, by the way, that's where we've got our oven preheating. And now we have to do the crumble topping. So we've got more baking mix, a little bit of brown sugar, some walnut gems, yum, I love those, and also some softened butter. And I'm going to do this by hand. You could use a pastry knife if you wanted to do something like that, but I kind of like to feel my food. <laughs> See how crumbly that is now? It's perfect, the perfect consistency. Nice texture to go over the top of our apples and caramel. And we're just gonna go ahead and do just that. This is State Fair Good, a caramel apple bake. And it is so yummy because you got the cinnamon, you got the caramels in there. Oh, by the way, this is what it looks like when it comes out of uh, the oven. I, of course, took the center part so that I could have the best part. And it's a la mode.